Cole Stangler joins us here. Uh, Cole, there's the trillion dollar infrastructure bill. Yeah. That's already passed this in it. There's mm -hmm. also a separate $1.75 trillion focused on social spending and climate change. Yeah, and as you were allu alluding to earlier, uh, the fates of these bills closely intertwined. Progressives have basically been holding back support for the former, moderates holding back support for the latter. Uh, each camp basically wants assurances from the other uh, that they're going to back their side when it comes time for a vote. We may well see that happen today. Uh, so much of the attention will be on this $1.75 trillion social spending bill, uh, which it should be stressed again, still needs to pass the Senate after this. But among the key items that in this package, you have a new spending on child care, including universal pre-kindergarten, uh, an expansion of state-run health insurance for seniors to cover hearing services, uh, also the extension of a child tax credit that we first saw uh, in Biden's COVID relief package, uh, and then finally have a mix of climate-friendly grants and tax incentives basically aimed at boosting sales uh, of electric cars, uh, solar panels, and things like that. Yeah, and $1.75 trillion is a lot of money, but we should remind viewers this is actually uh, yeah. scaled down. Yeah, it is. Uh, so that initial proposal from the White House came in at actually $3.5 trillion, uh, but been cut down pretty substantially in a bid to win support from these moderate Democrats, in particular in the Senate, where the party literally has just a one-vote majority. Uh, and so one of the big areas that we've seen changed uh, is climate policy. Uh, the plan no longer has this program designed to encourage em uh, utilities to cut emissions. Uh, that's due largely to Senator Joe Manchin uh, from West Virginia, a relatively large producer of natural gas and coal. Also worth pointing out, Manchin himself is, is invested in the coal industry, as others have, have, have reported. Uh, Dems also had an initial proposal to, to offer uh, free community college, as well as a plan to cut prescription drug prices. And then, well, it will be interesting to see what happens with, as you can see there, that this family leave bit. Um, Dems had that in the plan before, then it was taken out. Now it's reportedly back in. We could see that in this vote that's coming up today in the House. And then, of course, still needs to get past the Senate uh, if the House does pass it today. And either way you look at it, it is a lot of money. How do Democrats plan to pay for it? Uh, well, a big chunk of the money is expected to come from tax hikes in this $1.75 trillion package again. Uh, one of the key revenue sources is a new 15% minimum rate for corporations, uh, covering for the first time earnings that are booked overseas. Uh, this is also part of a global tax agreement that was negotiated at the OECD, something that we've covered quite a bit uh, here at France 24. The bill would also hike taxes on the wealthy, as you can see there, in really two big ways. First, you have uh, an expansion of an existing investment tax covering high income earners. Then you have a new 5% surtax on multimillionaires, again, only applying to people earning $10 million a year. Uh, in any case, well, as you mentioned, a lot at stake here uh, in Congress. And also worth pointing out, we have seen Democrats before say that they're ready to move forward on these bills only to have it delayed. So, uh, you know, maybe today actually is the day that we'll see it come to a vote. Yeah, so whatever happens in Washington, we'll be following it here at France 24. Cole Stangler, thank you very much.